All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, my name is Aaron Soto. I am the Director of Learning at Corelight, and I wanted to take some time today to talk to you a little bit about a cool project I've been working on with a lot of other folks uh, to what I've just kind of called the gamification of Zeek, which is not a real word, I don't care. Uh, and it's really showing how you can use Zeek through, uh, show, show the power of Zeek through CTFs. Um, so for those of you who maybe, I don't know, let's say aren't familiar with CTFs, what is a CTF? Uh, it's a capture the flag. What it means is it's, it's this uh, event where you're going and you're, you're completing these challenges in an attempt to uh, score points, in an attempt to, to climb the leaderboard, maybe even get a prize. Sometimes it's for fame and fortune. But a lot of times it's just for learning. It's so that you get an opportunity to uh, practice a skill that you wouldn't otherwise get to, get to practice or, or, or do something in a safe way that you normally wouldn't, wouldn't get to. Um, in my mind, everyone, everyone should be playing CTS. Not that I'm, you know, particularly biased or anything, but, uh, but no, seriously, there, there, there is something for everyone here. Uh, if you're fresh out of school, uh, you're going to get hands-on experience you didn't get in class. If you are maybe, you know, thinking about changing careers, it's a fantastic way to get a day in the life of a pen tester, if we're talking red team uh, CTF, or a defender, if you're talking something blue team, a, a def a defensive exercise. In, in the case of, uh, of the, you know, some of the CTFs that I've had the, the privilege of helping build, uh, you get the opportunity to do things like uh, play, play as a SOC analyst. So someone whose job it is to, to, to you know, be on the front lines and seeing these real world attacks. Um, where else would you get to do that? Uh, even if you're a seasoned veteran, uh, you're going to learn some, some new tricks. You're going to get to play with a tool that maybe you didn't otherwise get to play with. Or maybe you just show off uh, that, there's you know, all right, what, whatever, whatever it takes to help you learn. Uh, heck, even if you're like, you know, senior level and you're a manager and you're like, hey, my hands aren't even on the keyboard anymore. It's a great way to, in, in, a, in a low pressure environment, learn and, and see what your team has to deal with uh, regularly. So, all right, all right, you know, that's, that's the CTFs in general. Uh, what is what is this what 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 is the Corelight CTF and the, and the, the the Zeke CTF that I'm here to talk about? Well, this has been a couple hour event, uh, you know, ranging anywhere from like 90 minutes to we've gone a little over three hours. Uh, but the, but the point of it is, it's not meant to be like traditional lecture and instruction. It's meant to be an opportunity for you to get your hands on and actually learn these things as quickly as possible. Uh, so to do that, well, there is a bit, there is a bit of a, a you know, jump, jumping into the deep end to be sure. And so that means that, you know, ideally someone who's an incident responder or a threat hunter uh, would get the chance to come do this. Now, uh, I've had the privilege of, of hosting you know, this event and events like it. Uh, at, at a lot of in-person conferences in, in, in precedented times. Uh, but, uh, you know, even, even virtually, this still works out really well. And so you get the opportunity to kind of team up and learn things um, and even go back and read some of the, the write-ups that other folks have done to see how they approached the problem or how they solved a problem that maybe uh, you yourself couldn't, couldn't, uh, couldn't quite break through. So, all right, the Corelight CTF itself, uh, the way we, that, I've, that I've found works best is especially you kind of have to you have to put yourself in the mindset of somebody who maybe doesn't have these skills, uh, and we want to make them comfortable. We want to make them to we want to welcome them into the community, and so to that extent, we want you know I recognize that most of the people who I'm talking to today are at a Zeke conference because you're here and you know about Zeke and you're excited about Zeke. But some 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 of these folks, in fact, a lot of them, as it turns out, if you if you uh, if you poll, uh, don't know about Zeke or they haven't seen Zeke data. Uh, and they don't really know how to use it. And so as much as I don't want to start off with a lecture, uh, it is necessary to give folks just that, that first step, just to kind of explain what, what does Zeek do? How is, you know, what, what, is, what does it do in a network? How do I read the Zeek logs? How do I pivot between logs? How do I you know, understand what these fields mean? And so we'll spend a few minutes talking about that. Um, the goal, there's a balance to be sure, because some, again, some of the people in this might be seasoned veterans and they're like, ugh, listen, I already know. And some of the people are like, listen, I had a, you know, a friend or a colleague or somebody mentioned Zeke and this, this sounded cool. So I signed up, but I've never played with it before. I don't know anything about this. So you, you have to, to, to strike that balance and, and be prepared, uh, to, to, to target or to, to, uh, to focus on, on, uh, those two groups. But ideally, okay, get folks a little bit comfortable with Zeke. And, and uh, what I like to do is, and 
it's very easy for us to get excited about what's under the hood or you know about a new package or about how this very nuanced piece of Zeek works. But for, for a lot of people out there, it's more about how do I use Zeek to do my job, to do incident response, to do threat hunting. And so I like to talk about use cases. I like to tell a story. I like to, to talk about someone who's, uh, you know, maybe uh, it's 2 a.m. in the sock and they're looking at alert and they're trying to use Zeek data to figure out what to do with it. Or, uh, you know, their CISO is freaking out because they're reading this article about some new exploit that's out there and like, are we patched? Have we been attacked by it? What do we do? How do I use Zeek data to, to, to figure that out? And so in that way, a lot of times we can find out, uh, we, we can find a way to connect to people in the community beyond uh, those that are, you know, just developing and scripting. And I, and I don't mean to, to say that, you know, as, as uh, I don't know, I, I, I don't mean to downplay that because of course that's critical. But there's a, much, there's, a, there's a huge audience here that we can tap into that then, that then, once they're excited about it, we can say, cool, you wanna learn how to write a script? You wanna learn how to extend that log? You wanna you know, write a package? Let's, let's show you how. So um, in, in the environment that uh, the, the Corelight and the, and the Zeek CTF exist in, uh, one of my, my philosophies is I like to represent data in a lot of different ways so you can kind of see what it looks like in, in different contexts. So for us, we have a, a free Splunk instance, which I know, uh, not, not open source. We have a, a, an Elk uh, stack, so we have Kibana that you can access. And then we have a, an open source Zeek environment. So we have an SSH box already set up, everything ready to go, just jump in and start playing. And so when you show up to the event, you don't have to have these things. You don't have to have a VM set up. You don't have to know how to install this stuff. You don't have to have Splunk or Kibana or, or anything installed. You're not looking, you don't have to have the PCAPs. You don't, like none of this. Just show up and play, like, like gets your hands on the keyboard as quickly as possible. And that works really well for people who are new, but it also means that maybe someone who's a little bit more in that seasoned veteran category, who's like, listen, you know, I know some of this stuff. Well, maybe you get to learn a tool you wouldn't otherwise get to. So maybe you get the chance to play, you know, with Splunk when you, you're at work, you use Elk, or maybe you get the chance to use a seam when you're used to working with, with uh, Zeek data in a, in a raw form or on a command line. So it also gives you an opportunity to kind of to branch out and try a new tool. And, and, and um, there's a, one of my, my uh, favorite authors, his name is Randy Pausch, who was a professor uh, at Carnegie Mellon, and he, he always talked about these head fakes. We're like, you know, okay, you're, you. I want to teach you Zeek, but I also, you know, maybe my, my real goal is to show you how this works in a whole ecosystem. And so we're gonna we're going to pretend it's this one thing when in reality you're gonna learn a whole new skill set, a whole bunch of tools. You'll learn how to do Splunk queries. You'll learn how to click around Kibana. You'll learn the command line and the Zeek environment. And so as as many skills as we can pick up, that's the point of the CTF. Now, all right, we kick the, we kick the event off. Uh, in my experience, there's a lot of scoreboards out there, and I will not cast shade on folks who write CTF scoreboards. Uh, you're dealing with some of the brightest people and some of the most curious people who are looking to break things. Uh, but I really love CTFD. That's actually what, what I chose. It's an open source solution. Um, and you can, you can pay for them to host it, but we, uh, you know, I've, just, I've had good luck hosting it on my cell, on, on, on our own infrastructure. And we can build challenges out and it gives, a lot of, it gives us a lot of flexibility. Uh, and so, all right, you sign up, you register for an account, you get into the scoreboard and you start digging into these questions. And um, the way that, that I like to gamify this is by not really, really just by, by, by kind of stepping back, not really setting any kind of expectation, but just kind of letting players pick a, a piece of the story one at a time. So you start off with a question and a question asks you, okay, there was an HTTP request made to a PHP page What's the name of that page? So you've opened up your Splunk, your Elastic, or your, your, your SSH session uh, to an open source Zeek box, and now you're trying to look through the data. And, and you don't have a lot to go on right now, but maybe you're gonna start looking through things like HTTP logs. You're gonna start looking for, you know, trying to filter down that data uh, to get to what you want. And so, all right, let's, say, let's take Splunk, for example. So I pop up in Splunk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of clicking around. Maybe this is my, one of my first few times or first time playing with Splunk. And, um, okay. I might go up to my little search bar here and I've got, I've got two things to go off of. Um, I know that it's HTTP. I know that it's PHP, I guess. Maybe those terms mean something to me, maybe they don't. Ideally, in kind of you know, setting folks set up for success as we're kind of doing that little bit of introduction at the beginning, we'll talk through what an HTTP log is so that they know, oh, there's an HTTP log. I wanna kind of limit down and filter down that data. 
Um, and so, okay, I want to get I want to get to the HTTP logs. I have, I have you know maybe thousands of events, and I need to limit this down. And so, okay, you know they 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 limit that down. And they start looking through the data, uh, and they're trying to get a, a feel for some of the, the fields. And so, you know, Correlate has has this cheat sheet that has some info. Zeek open source uh, documentation is fantastic and has much more info. Uh, but okay, you know, let's learn how to read the documentation, figure out what what the different fields mean. Um, and okay, hey, I stumbled on some connections here, uh, these HTTP requests and the URI is whoami.php. So, all right, I come back to my scoreboard. Let's give it a shot. You know, where it says flag, I put in what I think the answer might be. I hit submit, says it's correct. And like, I get this dopamine rush, like, hey, I found the answer, I solved this, and now I'm on to the next question. And the next question says, okay, using that, what's, you know, see if you can find this artifact. And now let's pivot off of this. And we slowly build up keeping those, you know, Vegas style, keep those, those dopamine rushes coming to you so that you're like, okay, I'm solving this, I'm figuring this out, I'm learning new things. Um, and, it, and it really keeps you going. So um, I, I really think this is, this is far better, you know, than, than traditional training, than classroom training, than, than just sitting and, and, and having someone tell you how to use Zeek. I want you to use it against real world traffic with actual tools like Splunk and Elastic, or, or you know, on a on a, on a real command line, um, and 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 use it to solve an incident. Use it to to put together the pieces and tell the story to find all the artifacts of of how this worked and and, and how the attacker got in and what their IP addresses were and what what exploits they used and what accounts they compromised. And by the time you're done, you've got you know you've sent you've answered 20 questions. But you've put together this whole timeline that you now you now know this incident, and and I don't care if again if this is your day job or if this is your first time doing this, um, that's pretty cool. So ideally, the beginning questions start off kind of easy like this, and then as you work your way through, you get uh, progressively more difficult, more interesting, more nuanced. Uh, you know, you might might uh, throw in a couple, maybe a couple trick questions there. But the more opportunity that we have to uh, to get people to uh, you know, just just kind of slowly pick up these skills until suddenly they're actually really going through Zeek logs and, and answering these questions. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're hoping for. So um, hopefully you're like, well, all right, I'm convinced. Let's do this. So all right, if I've sold you a couple ways, a couple things you can do. Uh, first off, uh, the events that that uh, that I was talking about today, and and you know, well. I gave you I gave you an answer to a question. Don't tell anyone. But the events that I was talking about today are ones that, that Corelight puts on that I get the opportunity to put on with the community. Anyone's welcome. Literally anyone is welcome to join. Uh, so I put the link up on the on the slide there, uh, or just you know Corelight Inc on Twitter, and you can and you can sign up for an event. Um, and so these are these are things that we do every couple of weeks. We do uh, we've been kind of doing uh, Tuesday Thursday every other week, um, and and we'd love to have you. We'd love to have you join. Um, that said, the, the, the Zeke community, Amber, has, uh, and, and, and she'll be talking more in a moment, but, but uh, she's done a fantastic job of putting together uh, events that are focused around the open source community. So for those of you who are like, okay, yeah, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to give, give, you know, I don't want to put my name in a marketing database so I can play this. I respect that. I totally do. The, so the Zeke community has... Uh, Zeke Community CTFs, and we've done quite a few of these. We're kind of we're taking a, a bit of a hiatus now because it's holidays and things get a little hectic in the holidays for everyone. Uh, but if you're interested, uh, the Zeke.org site, the, uh, uh, we've got the events posted up there, and as we get these new community CTFs going, uh, we'd love to have you. We absolutely would love to have you, and, and we're eager for feedback on how to make that more accessible. Uh, so that you know it, it, it's in your time zone, or or, or that uh, you know it's, it's at a time that you can play. Uh, but all right, you're like great. I, I, I want to do it now. I want to do it now. Uh, well, let me let me see if I can convince you. Uh, Anthony, who we just heard talk a little bit ago, uh, uh, has has helped put. Uh, well, I say helped has has uh, put together an incredible set of challenges uh, for our very first Zeek Week CTF. And so, if you're interested in that at all, uh, head over in Slack. Uh, again, the the Slack invites at the bottom of the YouTube description here. But head over to Slack. Um, and join the, the C, there's a channel called CTF Capture the Flag, uh, which you'll see, uh, and join in. Uh, and and uh, if you are new to this, I promise you're gonna you're gonna learn some stuff along the way. There are different que uh, different questions that are different point values. Uh, but if even if you're a seasoned veteran, there's some really cool questions in there that are that are gonna make you kind of uh, scratch your noodle a little bit and, and learn uh, a lot more. 
One thing I will say that I'm really excited about uh, that we have for the Zeek Week CTF is write-ups, which means that if you, if you answer a question, you actually unlock a, a, a second, a new opportunity for more points to go and, and write out your solution, explain how you solved something. And that can be, that I, I, I'm really optimistic that uh, the people that we see at the top of the leaderboard are gonna be the ones who write those solutions. So as you're going through, you know, keep good notes and do write-ups. I love, I love to see CTF write-ups, especially where you talk about, you know, hey, I saw this and then this is kind of where my mind went. And, uh, you know, then I tried this and uh, it turned out that actually didn't work or that tool broke or, you know, assumption that I made didn't work. So I had to kind of take a few steps back. Talk through that thought process. Talk through those failures because when someone like me comes along and wants to learn from you, and see how you solved this challenge, that is hugely valuable. I don't wanna know, okay, just type this on the command line and, and there's the answer. I wanna know how, how you thought about that, and some resources that you found, blog posts, tweets, you know, uh, YouTube videos and tutorials, whatever it took for you to get there uh, to learn that answer. So I'm, I'm very excited to see how our Zeek Week CTF goes on and that, that goes on today and tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's going on uh, the whole time. So a uh, huge shout out to Anthony. Um, jump in the ctf-capture-the-flag, uh, uh, ctf-capture-the-flag uh, channel on the Zeek CTF and check that out. But I hope, I hope you join us for some of these events and I hope you uh, take some of the lessons that I've learned and, 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 and you know, as, as, I've, as I've learned to kind of, uh, you know, balance the, the, uh, you know, the lecture and the hands-on piece and go out and make your own events. There's no reason why, why I have to be the only one, why Anthony has to be the only one, why, why Amber and the Zeke community have to be the only one. If there's other skills you wanna learn or other ways you wanna show off Zeke, this is a fantastic way to do it and I would really encourage you to do so. Um, that said, I am happy to hang out in the Slack channel if you have questions about uh, any of the events that I've helped run, about the tools, if you have an idea for a CTF that you wanna try, um, if you just want to kind of want to talk through this a little bit, uh, by all means, feel free. You can DM me if you want to kind of keep it private and say, hey, I have some ideas for a challenge, but I don't want to put it publicly because I don't want to spoil it. You're welcome to, but otherwise I'll be in the, in the Slack channel. And I really look forward to, I encourage you uh, to, to building your own CTFs and playing. But uh, in the meantime, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for listening. Uh, thanks for coming to Zeke Week. And uh, I hope to, hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks.